Magic's Movie Edit Pro users have voted. I did a little poll here to see if anyone would want me to do uh, some tutorials on intros to your movies that you're posting on YouTube or for your channel. And I want to thank everybody for the comments. We had 264 views and uh, 28 thumbs up, one thumbs down, and quite a few comments here. 15 comments, I think. I don't know if that's quite a few, but I just want to thank everybody who commented and supported me. Okay, now let's look at the results. So I had five commenters that just wanted me to do a tutorial on intros, but didn't really care which one it was I did. Then I had uh, no comments or no requests for this one, which had the fire in the sky. Then I had sort of a split about uh, three to four on whether to do the sun or the sphere. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is do the sun first, do a tutorial on the sun first, and then later I'll do a tutorial on the sphere. So the first thing we need to do is get our audio, the background music for the video. Now I got that, and you can look around on the internet and just do a Google search for music or intro music, and you can find lots out there. But I got this particular one from acceleratedideas.com right here. And I'll put a link on the video for this. Now I just went down through here and it's called Skyline right there. And you just click the download button and then it downloads. Okay, now the next thing you need is the video loop itself. That's the flying through the sky thing. Now this one I got from Movie Tools, right here, movietools.info, and it's loop 193. So I'll put a link to this under the video as well. And what I did was, since I'm using Windows, and you probably are too, if you got Magic's Movie Edit Pro, just download the Windows Media file, the WMV. So just click Download on that. Now we got both of those downloading. Now later we're going to make the voice where it says, you know, welcome to my channel. We'll be getting that or actually creating it from acapella-group.com right here. And I'll get into that later, but you basically type in what you want here and pick a voice and then grab it from here. Okay, I've made a folder on the desktop here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just move my two files I've downloaded into that. So I'm going to drop down this menu and you probably can't see this. Actually I can move this up a little bit. Maybe you can see it. Okay, drop down this menu and then click show folder and there is my file right there at the top. So I'll just go ahead and move that in. Right click, drag it over, click move here. That one's in. Okay, now we'll go and get the video file. Show folder again. There's the video file. It's actually in a zip file. So I'm going to take that, move it over, and same thing as before, move here. Okay, so now we got both of my files. Let's just open that folder. And there they are right now. Now I'm just going to go ahead and rename them. Okay, so I renamed the uh, Flight Through the Clouds uh, video right here and just put the name of the site I got it from in the file name just so we know where it came from and I've also renamed the uh, the skyline music and also put the name of where it came from the site just to keep it you know on the up and up and the skyline file actually came out of here it was inside this folder inside the zip folder so I just dragged it out of there so I don't need the zip folder anymore I can delete that Okay, just launched Magic's Movie Edit Pro, and uh, my files are over here in this folder, of course. Now, let's go ahead and create a new project. So I'm going to go New Project, right here. And I've already got a name picked out for it, Magic's Movie Edit Pro Intro Tutorial 001. So let's OK on that. 
So let's just take a look at our settings for the movie right here. So we go to File, Settings, Movie right here. And you can see what I'm using settings as presets for my new movie. So when I create a new movie, it'll already be set to 32 tracks, uh, 48,000 for the audio sample rate. And then I'm going to have this setting right here, which is 1080p i, 16 by 9, uh, 29.97 frames a second. You can see the settings right down here, those same ones. So that's what you should have when you, when you start out. So you can check your programs and make sure that's what you have. Next, let's bring in our audio. So I'm going to open this folder right here, and I'm going to drag in the audio, which is the Skyline audio. So I'm going to put that in right there. Okay, under that, let's go ahead and put the video loop of the clouds right there on the second track and say don't adjust because we want to keep it at 1080p so do not adjust it it's at a lower resolution but don't worry about that because magix will take care of it now you'll notice I'm showing the full waveform on the audio instead of just the half waveform in order to see the full waveform all you have to do is go up to file go to settings and then program and then on this video audio tab just make sure that half waveform display is not checked there should not be a check mark there and you can also check automatically create waveform during import so the waveform will be created for you when you import your or drag your audio file into the arranger okay so next let's just go ahead and preview this with the sound and see what we have. Okay, so that was pretty interesting. But one thing I gotta mention is you wanna keep your intros to your videos short. So this is a, a total of 15 seconds long right now and most of it doesn't have any audio. So we want to cut that down maybe to seven seconds because you don't want your viewers to be bored watching long intros anyway. So let's cut this down just a little bit. Now let's listen to where the sound starts. And as soon as I hear the, sta the sound start to come in, I'm going to hit the K key on my keyboard to stop the cursor at that current position. So I'm going to press the space bar and then hit the K key. That's K is in, uh, I don't know, kangaroo? All right, here we go. Spacebar. All right, you can see from the waveform right here that that's about where it starts. So maybe just a little bit before that. So let's just go ahead and chop off both videos. So I'm going to unhighlight that top one just by hitting this empty space down here. So neither one is highlighted. And then hit the razor blade tool and split. Alright, now we're just going to highlight each one and press the delete key to get rid of them. Now let's use our special cursors up here. Let's use the all tracks cursor here so that we can just slide the whole thing to the beginning. Now let's go down the end. We'll go back to standard cursor now. We'll go back to the end here and you can see where the sound trails off. So maybe right about there. Let's just chop it right here at the end and see what we have. Again, I'm going to click over here in empty space so we don't have anything highlighted. So we can clip both at once. There we go. Now let's just delete those. Now I'll hit this double arrow so we can stretch it to the full width of the, of the uh, arranger. And there we go. We got 7.02 seconds. So that's just what we want. A nice short little intro. And it'll sound something like this. So now that we got the audio and video trimmed, let's go ahead and make our voice overlay. So let's go to acapellagroup.com right here 
and you can type in whatever you want it to say. Let's go with um, welcome to my channel like that and let's just see what that sounds like welcome to my channel all right there you go welcome to my channel of course you can put whatever you want in there all right now let's go ahead and grab that file so what we have to do is right click down here in an empty place and then do view frame source uh, don't do view page info or view page source up here go to view frame source right here and you'll find a link right here to the mp3 file just go ahead and highlight that left click and drag so it's highlighted and then do control C that's control Charlie get that right there and we'll put it into a new URL bar up here new window and just press enter I did control V as in Victor to insert it and then press enter welcome to my channel okay so you can hear it now it's in a new window welcome to my channel alright now let's save it right click do a save as and you can see it's an mp3 that's perfect let's just say welcome we'll call it welcome dot mp3 and uh, we're gonna put it on the desktop into our intros file folder right here along with everything else alright so now that's downloading and we're done with that part okay now let's open the intros file folder well let me scroll this down just a little bit here make room to put it and we'll go in here and we'll take the welcome mp3 and just put it down here somewhere and you need you see it already created the waveform automatically because I had that checkbox on in my program properties okay now let's play it go ahead Welcome to my channel. now I've loaded the finished product over here on another tab so we can just use that as a reference now you notice that in the finished product the Sun is actually closer at the beginning so like in the beginning the Sun is huge it's like you're right up next to it and then it slowly moves away as time progresses and when you get to about one minute or one second and 15 frames right there you can see up here one second and 15 frames the Sun goes to its regular size and then it stays that way from then on so that's the first thing we need to do is make that little transition so let's go back to this video now we need to go up to one second and 15 frames and that's probably right about in there and you can see this changing up here so right about there we want the Sun and I'm gonna highlight the Sun down here we want that Sun to be normal and then at the beginning we want it to be large so what we can do is go into effects and this is nothing more than camera zoom so let's go to movement effects and camera zoom that's right here okay now this is what where we have to discuss keyframes and when you use keyframes you can do a lot of tricky stuff so that's what we need to know how to use keyframes so to create a keyframe where the Sun is normal I'm gonna start right here so I want it to go back to normal right here so I'm gonna set a keyframe by pressing this little button right here for camera for the uh, camera zoom feature so now you can see the keyframe is set right there all I did was press this button and the keyframe is set and it's set at one second and 15 frames for the image size position right here 
So now we need to get another keyframe at the beginning. So let's scroll over to the beginning here. We'll take this, move it over. We can also hit this just to make sure we're at the beginning right here. Now let's use size and position and we'll go ahead and place this. It's a little tricky. It's moving around on me a little bit. There we go. Put that on the sun and we're going to move that. Use these corner positions here. Let's just make that box really small. I hope you can see this because now it's getting awfully small. But what I'm doing is just put that box right around the sun and now when you play it, and you can see the keyframe here that it created while I was doing that. You can hit the keyframe button again just to make sure it's set in there. But now when we play it, Welcome to my channel. you can see how that sun went from zoomed in to normal. Now every time you make a change like this, it's a good idea to save your project because you don't want to have to do it all over again in case Magix crashes. You never know, it might. So let's just save the project. And this is the first time I've saved it, so I probably should have saved it sooner, but we'll go ahead and do it now. Alright, so now it's saved up to the point that we're at now. Okay, I've just opened a couple extra tabs here. We have our original tab where we're working on our intro in the arranger and then I have the finished sample right here which is what it should look like when we get done and we've been using that. Now I've opened another one called samples which just has the original files which I use to make the intro. Okay so now I'm going to show you how to make another tab and I'm just going to put this tutorial I'm doing now under that tab. So we just hit the plus button here and then we can go ahead and rename it and I'm going to call it tutorial right there okay so that's where I'll put the files for this project that I'm doing right now where I'm explaining to you how to make this okay so next we need to make some titles so let's just move the welcome audio that we got off acapella down here out of the way. Alright, now let's put in two titles. Let's start with the main title. We'll go to title, then come down to standard, and I'm just going to pick large subtitles right here, bring it down, and place it right here. And it's not going to be that large, probably. I'll just Let's just shrink it down a little for now. All right, now let's get us another title. And same thing, just bring it down, large subtitles, and we'll put that under it, right there. Okay, let's start with this one. And let's put in here. I'll just put your channel right there and now let's just move this let's see where I move it out of the way and we got the second one let's see which one is which here this one okay and then on that one I'll put name we got your channel name and I think I'll switch these two around down here because I I want to put the name on the bottom just to be organized here there so I got your channel here and then name down here pretty much like we're gonna have it alright so there's your channel alright now let's go to general right here and we'll go ahead and massage the looks of the title so let's start out by picking yellow give us a nice bright yellow 
Maybe not. It's a little too bright. We'll go with that one. Same thing on this one. If we want to switch over that one, we can make that one yellow as well. Like that. Okay, now back to this one. Let's choose a font. Just have to go down through here. I think you can actually type in, like I, I'm looking for a specific one. I can put start typing it in. Like if I wanted uh, Microsoft. Here's some different ones. Uh, let's see which ones I got here. Okay, how about this one? All right, let's go with that. And now, let's go into Advanced, right here. Let's turn on the shadow. Like that, and we'll pump up the shadow a little bit. Give it about four. And the outline is right here. And we can come up on the width there a little bit. And then you can adjust things like uh, blur and transparency as well. All right, let's go and do the same thing. Let's okay. We got to click OK to that. Now let's do the same thing to this one. I'm just going to leave this one as Arial. I'm still going to have yellow, and under the advanced, we can again turn on the shadow, bring it up to about four like that and we can go ahead and click OK now on the size we can adjust the size too uh, just with this right here you can make it any size probably want to make this one a little smaller than the other one like that make this one maybe a little bigger you know you just modify it the way you want to modify it Okay, now let's go ahead and just go ahead and save the project again now that we got the two titles. Okay, I'm going to massage these a little more. Let's do the top one. That's your channel. Got this highlighted right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Advanced. Uh, first of all, I think I'm going to turn this off like that and just go with 3D instead. Now let's go to, to Advanced. I'm going to bump this up to about 10 like that. And I'm going to give it a little bit of transparency. Give it about somewhere in there. 24, 25, somewhere there. Give it a little blur, just about 12 right there. Just go with that. That gives it a nice look. And I don't think we need the outline anymore because I turned that off. All right, let's do that. And we'll go to the other one the name. Let's just do the same thing to that one. Turn the outline off. Go to advanced. We'll bump this up to about 10. So you can see it takes quite a bit of time to do all this. But it's one of those things, kind of like creating a painting. You just sort of work on it a little bit at a time in your spare time. Get it the way you want it. This was 12 on the other one. All right, that looks good. And all right, we'll do that. Okay, so now we got them both pretty much the same. Okay, now let's talk about what we want them to do. If we look in the finished intro, you can see, what do they do? They retired time or the uh, your channel comes in from the sun right there. So from the beginning to right about there. Now it's full blown right about there, which is at 3 seconds and 17 frames. That's about where we want it. All right, let's go back to our movie. So at uh, 3 seconds and 17 frames, that's right about here. And if we look at the other one too on the finished video, you can see the title doesn't even really appear 
until right about there, about right where the audio starts, so that's fine. And then it goes and stays the whole time until it fades out. So now that we know that, the way we want it to work, so uh, so we got, oops, so we got this uh, title in about the right spot at the beginning of the audio, but we want it to go the whole length, like right up to there. Now, three uh, seconds and 17 frames, which is right here, we want to set a keyframe because that's where it's going to be uh, full size right there. Uh, let me just go ahead and make this a little bigger so we can see it. Okay, so let's go back to effects and we'll go to movement effects size and position right there and let's set a keyframe right there because that's where we want it to be full size. Now we'll go back to the start right here okay and we're gonna squish it down make it really small still on size and position and we'll put it right in here in the sun right like that okay and the other keyframe is set so we'll just go ahead and make sure it's set all right let's play that and just see what it looks like you can see it comes out okay so if you looked at the uh, original one you could see that not only did the uh, channel name fly out or the or your channel fly out of the sun but it also was blurred until it got to full size right about there so what we need to do is go into video effects right here come down and then you've got artistic blur right here under sharpness and you can actually blur it see how you can blur it right there but so we want to start out with it normal right here so let's set a keyframe for normal for the blur that's normal right there but when it starts out over here we want it to be blurred Okay, let me put it back over there so you can see it right there now let's go ahead and blur it so it's totally blurred right there you can't hardly see it and uh, let's hit that again okay now if we hit it and play it you can see it comes out and then becomes solid okay that's that one so now let's work on the name and we'll go to the lower one right here and we want the name to be right about in this area that's going to be your channel name. And we want it to basically fly in from this bottom right corner. So let's back up here a little bit. So we're coming along. The main title comes in. And then the name should start to fly in. And maybe right about in this area okay so let's start with the name uh, totally flown in we'll put a keyframe right about say right in this area okay we'll go to effects movement effects size and position and we'll set a keyframe all right now we'll go to the beginning okay at the beginning right here let it snap to that now let's take and move the name down in here and we'll make it real small say right about like that okay now when we play it It moves right in. All right. 
So let's go back to this keyframe, which is right here. And in the original video, the name was a little bit more transparent. So all we have to do is pull down this right here and mix a little less of that video in there. So now the name appears a little bit less prominent. So it looks like we got it pretty good now. Now all we need to do is, is go ahead and do the fades. Okay, so for the fades, all we're going to do is grab these little handles that are on the edges right here and just pull them along like that and we're gonna go ahead and just fade all of these titles out at the end including the video like that now up here on the audio we can fade that a little bit too although it pretty much fades out on its own anyway but we'll just go ahead and fade that too and then at the beginning of each one we want to fade that so let's just fade the beginning and fade the beginning on this one okay and then maybe we'll move the audio over here just a little bit all right now let's see what it sounds like we'll go back to the beginning I also notice that the uh, we want this name to kind of slide over to the right as it comes in so what I'm going to do is go to this keyframe here and uh, what we'll do is copy that keyframe which is right here copy keyframe all right now let's go ahead and place the cursor over here a little bit maybe right there and then we'll paste that keyframe so now we got two keyframes like that but we'll go back to this one <coughs> and we'll just go ahead and move the name right over say this area Okay, now when we play it, let's go back to, say, this section, and we play it. See how that name just slides over there? And if you want it to go slower than that, you can take this keyframe right here and move it more to the end, like that. Now when you play it, it'll slide a little slower. Okay, got that. Now let's save the project. Just to make sure we got it. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is make the titles grow really big and kind of just expand off the screen. So let's go ahead and we'll set a keyframe. Let's put the title right there. And this is where, about where it moves in yeah right there and stay solid so um, right after that let's set a keyframe for size and position which is what we're in right here so we'll set a keyframe there and let's do the same thing for both of them okay now we're gonna go ahead and move towards the end and when just before it fades out we want it to be really big well let's just go let's just go right all the way to the end like right in here I'll put it right there we want to make this really large so let's just go ahead and um, go down to the zoom slider we'll just make it really big so it's like off the screen and move it up here a little bit and then we'll do the same thing to the other one zoom it up really big 
and get it going off the screen something like that okay so now let's set the keyframes for both of them they should already be set but yeah it looks like they're already set it automatically put them in okay let's just test it and see what it looks like Now just one more thing, if you want to make a little effect or echo on the voice here, which is on channel 5, what you can do is highlight it and then go to the mixer icon right here and just bring that up like that. Make sure you're on channel 5 and click this FX button right here. Now that will bring up the audio FX and then you can go ahead and just turn on the reverb right here and add a little reverb to the mix right like that and then you can sample it I don't know if you could hear that so that just gives it a little reverb now one question I get is how do you adjust the uh, sound level on an audio clip. So let's just adjust the sound level on this one. All you do is grab this handle right here and when you do that this little slider pops up and you can adjust it. Now zero is normal. If you want it to be totally off that's all the way down here. Off. In the middle is just plus and minus uh, decibels. So you go from zero to plus 20 decibels and then down to I think it's around 35 so zero is normal so in order to use the title later in our other videos we can export it as an MXV so what we do is just go up here to file export movie and then pick video as magic's video now that's an MXV file do that so let's just keep it at 1080p here. We've got the same settings that we had in the beginning. And now we can just give it a name like, let's say, we'll call it Sun Cloud uh, Intro. Let's call it Intro. All right. And let's see where we're going to put it right here. Um, it's under movies right now. Um, I think what I'll do is put it under my intros right here. Just put it under introduction and just save it right there. Okay. And we'll do it. Now you see it only takes a few seconds to export it. It's just a short movie. I'll just let it go across there. Okay. Now if we want to use that in a new movie, all we got to do is say we are in a new project right here. I just made a new tab. And we want to use that. Then what I could do is just open up my intro folder right here. Okay, so you'll see it's right here inside my intro folder. And it's called Sun Cloud Intro. So I can just take that MXV file, drag it into my project, and there it is. So now it's in there, and we can add our movie material after that. So this will be the beginning of our movie. Welcome to my channel. So that would be the intro from now on we could use for all our movies. So basically that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it got a little long as usual. I get carried away, but it was kind of involved. It's more of the intermediate level. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you.